back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ellie, and I'm glad you decided to click on this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content exactly like this. If this is not your first time seeing my face, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you decided to stay for a while, and I hope seeing my face on your screen has made your day that much better. So in today's video, we are going to be kind of talking about just like getting to know me slash getting ready with me. I have work tonight. It's not like really work, but it's like I'm currently on the crew for a uh, wrinkle in time a production of Wrinkling Time that they're doing here at my school, and I have that tonight. So I'm going to get ready while kind of talking to you guys, letting you guys get to know me a little bit better. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so the first thing we are using is the Formula 10.06 Picture Perfect Day Moisturizer with 15 SPF. And then while I'm like putting that on and mixing it into my face, I'm going to be answering a question for you guys. What is one goal you have in life? Um, well, obviously the ultimate goal in my life is to be a mom. Being a mom is something I've always wanted ever since I was a little girl. But if we're talking about career-wise, then I would really, really want to be a famous Broadway actor. One day I would love to be on Broadway. And then along with that, I would really also love to be on just one episode of Criminal Minds. Like, just one episode. I think it would be so cool to be on just a singular episode of Criminal Minds. Whether I'm a villain, whether I end up getting killed in the first five minutes, I just want to be able to tell people I was in an episode of Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is one of my favorite shows, so I think being able to tell people that I was in an episode of Criminal Minds is so cool. Okay, the next thing... Sorry, I needed to make sure my camera didn't turn off. The next thing we are using is... I'm going to just drop my concealer. The L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Lotion. What is one show you recommend everyone watch? Um, I highly recommend everyone watches Heartstopper. Um, I know that's kind of like a cliche answer, and a lot of you are probably going to be like, I don't want to watch Heartstopper. That show's kind of like for kids. No, it's not. Um, they touch on some very serious topics. In that show and I feel like it represents the community so well not that I am a part of that community but it represents lots of different communities well it represents the transgender community well it represents the gay the bisexual the entire LGBTQ spectrum well it represents bullying culture incredibly well it represents eating disorder culture really well and I just feel like it's a show that I feel like everyone should watch I forgot to put my clips in Oh man. Okay, wait, this lighting is literally terrible. Let me try my hardest to fix this. I think that's just a little bit better. It's gonna be in frame for a little bit, but it's whatever, it doesn't really bother me. Are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? Um, I would probably call myself an introverted, an extroverted introvert. Because in certain situations, I'm very loud and open. And then in other situations, I'm very closed off. So that's probably where I would put myself. Next thing we are using is the LP Little Liquid Filter. Disney or Nickelodeon? Um, right now, I'm definitely Disney, I feel like. Just because, one, I love Disney movies, but that's not really what we're talking about. I think we're talking about TV shows. Um, I like I, I watched iCarly and Victorious as a kid, but I watched much more on Disney Channel than I ever did on Nickelodeon. So that's why I'm gonna go with Disney. Also, a reminder, always wet your beauty blender. Never use a beauty blender that is not wet. What is your current jam? Um, my current jam is the entire Mariah Carey Christmas album. I am that person who starts celebrating Christmas in October. So, what is your favorite month? Sorry, that's not even the next question. I'm sorry. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. As you can see, I am definitely a Christmas before Thanksgiving girly. Even a Christmas before Halloween. Because this is being filmed on October 21st, and I like currently have my Christmas tree up in my dorm room. There's 65 days until Christmas. So. 
what is your favorite month? Well, at this point, I'm sure you guys can tell, my favorite month is December. Um, Christmas, in general, just brings a lot of memories for me back from my childhood, whether they are with my uncle or my parents or my brother or whoever. Just Christmas brings a lot of happy memories for me, and I know it's like does almost the exact opposite for others, but for me, it's it brings me much joy. The next thing we are using is the Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. I like this one because it has aloe vera in it, which means it's like decent for my skin. But we are running out. And it kind of smells like cheesecake. I've never noticed that before. What is something you are excited about for this year? Something I am excited about for this year, um, this year in general, or this, like the rest of 2023, or this year in general. I'm going to take this with the first thing that came to my mind, which is something that can is going to be done at the end of 2023, which is I plan to be active on YouTube for Vlogmas this year. I'm going to attempt to do Vlogmas, whether it be, like it may not be like an everyday thing, but I could definitely see myself doing like a 12 days of Christmas where I film every other day up until Christmas, or I could also see myself doing end up doing all 25 days or I can end up switching midway through I honestly don't know this is my first year ever even going to try attempting to do vlogmas and like right at the same time I'm also going to be dealing with college finals so who knows I am going to try my absolute hardest to do vlogmas though sorry I keep on having to press the button because my camera does this really weird thing where it turns off What is your signature scent? My signature scent is warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works, and then I also use this coconut cream pie body oil that I just got from TikTok Shop. Super cool, super fun. I have never gotten so many compliments ever in my entire life than I am getting right now. And the next thing we are using is the Lacrain Beauty. I would love to have a regular Rare Beauty one, but I don't have that. Oh wait, that's not even what we're using next. Sorry, contour comes first. Um, are you single? Am I single? Yes, I am very single. Um, to the point where it's like not even funny anymore. I am waiting for God to show me my person and I know that everyone says that I should date around in college, but I've never been much of a dater. I've had one boyfriend and he was incredibly toxic. So I, I just I don't feel like dating is something, I don't feel like I'm a casual dater. I don't think casually dating someone is something I can do. You know, I don't think I can just casually go on dates with different guys every weekend. That's just not something that I can see myself doing. I'm a very attached, like I attach easily to people. And I could definitely see myself not being a casual dater. Plus, a large part of the reason why I'm choosing to stay out of the dating scene right now is because I am still trying to get over an ex, not the ex I was talking about, but it's like almost like an ex situationship. And it's been ended for a while now, but still, it's taking me a lot longer to get over it than I thought I would. I thought by now I would be fine, but uh, I'm not. No need to worry about me, guys. I promise you I'm fine. Um, X. oh, I love this one. I literally created a whole note about X. Men who are unhygienic, like are you serious? It doesn't take that long to put on some deodorant, to wash your hair, to brush your stanky teeth. Like men who are unhygienic literally make me so mad. Like it's not that difficult. Men who don't smile in photos, even if it's a photo you don't want to be in, it is not that difficult to just, even if it's fake, literally smiling is so easy, put on a freaking smile. Men who are pick -me's. I literally hate men who are pick -me's. I do not give a chicken's butt that you, that like no one else likes you. Like that is not my problem. And I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but I don't care at this point. Like are you kidding? Get grip. This shouldn't have to be said, but uh, men who mansplain everything. 
Men who mansplain everything are literally the worst kinds of men. If you find yourself a man who mansplains everything, I advise you to run as far as you can. I didn't even tell you guys what contour I'm using. I use the She Glam contour. She Glam is, if you guys are looking for some cheap, good quality makeup, then that's the place to be. Huh. Favorite movie. I'm gonna make it a lot of hate for this because I've heard many different opinions. But favorite movie. My favorite movie is Hunger Games Catching Fire. I strongly believe that Hunger Games Catching Fire is the superior Hunger Games movie. If you disagree, that's okay. If you don't, good for you. But favorite TV show. My favorite TV show is probably Gilmore Girls. Um, why is my favorite TV show Gilmore Girls? My favorite TV show is Gilmore Girls because I found it very funny. Like, I found the humor in it absolutely hysterical. Like, I literally could not stop laughing. And I watched it whenever I was, like, 17 or 18. So, like, I watched it fairly recently, and I got it a lot more than I would have gotten it when I was, like, 13 or 14 years old. Like, I understand, I understood the humor much more than I would have if I was younger. Oh my god, I didn't even, as you guys can see, I am not a makeup influencer. I am continually forgetting to tell you guys what I am using. I am using, let me put it all back together for you. It's another She Glam product. The She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder in the color light pink. I was one of those people who hopped on the pink setting powder trend. I don't regret it at all because it has saved my life. Um, last person who stalked on social media. This question is going to get me in some high water, like hot water, with my best friend. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. It's my ex. The ex situation I was telling you guys about. She gets very mad at me whenever I text him because she believes I'm too good for him. I happen to disagree, but we're not going to go there. Um, what is my major? Oh, golly, I love this question. I am a currently a pre-BFA musical theater major. Hopefully by the end of this year or next year, I will be a regular BFA musical theater major. To get be a regular BFA musical theater major, you have to audition into the program and I have not auditioned in the program yet which makes me pre-BFA so keep me in your prayers whenever I do need to audition because my last audition I freaking bombed who is my favorite author uh, my favorite author is Margaret Peterson Haddix if you have not heard of her I highly recommend she wrote my favorite book of all time like my books my favorite book series of all time she wrote The Missing. I absolutely believe that she is the most underrated author ever. If you have not read The Missing, I highly recommend it. But she also wrote Running Out of Time, and my mother, who is a fifth grade teacher in my hometown, reads that book to her class every year. She's actually the one who introduced me to Margaret Peterson Haddix. And she also wrote another favorite of mine called Double Identity, and I really want to look. I Would you guys like be interested at all into like a what's on my reading list? Or like what's on my TBR kind of video because I would love to do a video like that um what am I passionate about this one is probably gonna have to make me put a trigger warning on the video but my something I'm incredibly passionate about is my is ED culture if you guys know what ED is it's stands for eating disorder this is another video I do want to make eventually. I want to tell my story with anorexia and stuff like that. But I am very passionate about it because I am currently a year sober from anorexia. And it took me a very long time to get there. And I don't, I want people to know that like recovery is possible. A year and a half ago, I thought recovery was something that was never an option for me because I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was. I, I thought I was just, I thought I was never going to be able to eat healthy again. And now here I am a year and a half later eating healthy. Probably the healthiest I've ever been. 
do I have a nickname? Yes, I do. But before we go there, I want to, we just finished our, pretty much our face. So now I am going to put on the NYX Professional Makeup Dewy Finish setting spray. But before I do that, the highlighter I used was the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals. It's like this little like peachy pink color. You can't really see it on camera. Oh, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. Super pretty. Do I have a nickname? Yes, I do. I've never talked about it on this channel because I have been so incredibly inactive on this channel. But my nickname is actually Ellie. Um, my real name is Elizabeth. It's from a book. It's from someone in the Bible. I'm not exactly sure exactly who. But my middle name is Catherine. So Ellie Catherine, Elizabeth Catherine. Yeah. Um, the best gift I have ever been given. But before we get into that question, I'm gonna talk to you about what I do for my lashes. I just use a normal eyelash curler and then I use Lash Next Door by Brooklyn and Bailey. The first thing I do is I curl the eyelashes. And then I do one layer. Like so. If you don't make weird faces while you're doing your mascara, you're doing it wrong. And I really only usually only need one layer. This mascara is absolutely fantastic. Literally, the amount of times I've gone into the shower with this mascara and it has not run, like it hasn't run down my face, is absolutely phenomenal. But it will come off with like my cellar water and makeup wipes, so like it comes off like normal mascara. But it doesn't run whenever I get it wet, which is super nice because I have really watery eyes. And... Sometimes my eyes just water because they want to... Okay, back to the last question. This is the Hanion Lip Tint. It's a water lip stain. But back to the best gift I've ever been given. This one didn't take me very long to find an answer to because... It was like fairly easy for me to find an answer to this one because I use it every day and I didn't really see the gift coming either. Like I remember mentioning it to my brother, but he, but I didn't think he was actually going to get it for me. But for my 18th birthday, he got me a switch light, which was super kind of him because those are not cheap gifts. And then the last question I want to answer is, are you religious? Um, yes, I am. I have, I was, I'm a born and raised Christian. I am a member of the First Baptist Church. Well, okay, I, I'm I'm a Baptist. Like that's my religion. We are Baptists. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys would like a like a religion video, I'd be down to do that. So let me know if you guys want to see one of those.